It's been a platform for some of the worst IDF propaganda. And according to The Intercept, there's a reason for that. CNN is routing all of its reporting through its Jerusalem Bureau, which is subject to a strict military censor. According to an unnamed source from CNN who spoke with The Intercept, quote, every single Israel-Palestine related line for reporting must seek approval from the Jerusalem Bureau or when the Bureau is not staffed from a select few handpicked by the Bureau in senior management from which lines are most often edited with a very specific nuance. That specific nuance being a bias that favors Israel. The Intercept previously reported on eight topics that Israel's military censor restricted reporting on. They included information about the weapons being deployed against Gaza, information about hostages, and information coming out of war cabinet meetings. Knowing this, CNN's reporting on the war makes a lot more sense. Remember, it was CNN that broadcasted claims of scores of beheaded babies, a lie pushed by the Israelis with the intent to dehumanize Palestinians, to link them to ISIS. CNN also promoted the largely unfounded claims that Hamas fighters systematically raped women, that they used sexual violence as a weapon of war. Remember when host Dana Bash grilled Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal and implied that progressive groups didn't condemn these rapes? This is what CNN was focusing on as the death toll in Gaza passed 10,000. And it was CNN's leading man, Jake Tapper, who, just ahead of the Israeli raid on the Al-Shifa hospital, published a story claiming that Hamas had a command node under the facility. Story aimed at justifying the upcoming attack on a fucking hospital full of civilian war victims. No command center, no node were found just a bunch of dead babies who died in the assault. And somehow, Jake Tapper is still allowed on air. But you don't need to watch him. Turn that war propaganda off. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.